Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to be here to show you the 2024 Integra Anthem. Now, I'm going to give you a lot of information during this video. Make sure you watch the whole thing. Um, if you need to skip ahead, though, there are chapters at the um, bottom that you can just go straight to the area or the section of the video that you'd like to see. Now, I'm going to give you directions for what to do after you finish watching the video. If you're looking to purchase a Class A diesel, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We want to make the process easy and fun, and we want customers for life. So it's not just about the sale, it's really about the service after the sale. So make sure you give us a call. So check out the big windshield behind me. It actually wraps around, so it gives you great visibility as you're heading down the road. I really talk about always the journey starts once you sit in that driver's seat. It's the getting there is as much fun as the being there. So I love the big windshield. Then at the very top of the coach, we've got the marker lights. Then in the center, you'll see the first camera that's gonna give us a 360 bird's eye view when we're actually driving the coach towards the end of the video. Then new for 2024, we have the moisture sensing windshield wipers. So that means they're gonna work automatically. Again, another safety feature to just keep your eyes on the road, hands on the steering wheel, and safely traveling down the road. Then we've got the beautiful Integra, which will be lit, backlit, and then we have our C lights, which is like um, Integra's logo now. It's so um, so well known. Makes you when you see an Integra, you know immediately that it's an Integra coach. Just love it. A lot of people call these these C lights or the accent lights. And then we've got the brighter um, headlights and low lights for 24 as well. So we have our chrome exterior mirrors. Those are internally controlled and you've got the defrost feature. You also get alerts in those mirrors. The top is controlled internally and then the bottom you have to adjust yourself. So just before you start driving, make sure you have your uh, co-pilot co help you with that so you have great visibility. Um, those mirrors are your saving grace. Even with the great cameras, I always rely on my mirrors. We've got marker lights here and here and we've got our first blind spot monitor. So this is one of those features that I absolutely love. When I talk about safety features, this is probably my favorite one. Um, when you're driving, and you'll see this during the test drive, you'll actually have a red bar. As a car approaches the side of the coach, the red bar will go across the top of the coach and let you know where that um, car is or object is. You have blind spot monitors down both sides of the coach and it really, gives you that extra safety while you're driving. So there's a couple ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously the key or the key fob. I do love the key fob. You can lock and unlock from here. You can also turn on your docking lights. So again, another safety feature. And then you have the alarm on there as well. Then you have your keyless pad here so that you can put in your own custom um, combination to allow people to go in and out of the coach. I just like it for myself. You can give it to a service technician though. If they happen to come by the coach when you're away, you can let them in and you have the doorbell. You also have the lit handlebar at night, which is really nice. And from the app on your phone, you can turn on your porch light, you can turn on your security light, very light and bright when you're coming back to the coach at night. All right, so right next to the handlebar, we've got the beautiful Integra badging. Um, everyone is proud of their Integra coach, so this just gives you another way. It's backlit, looks great. And then right below that, we've got the fuel fill for the passenger side for our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. Now, right below that, we've got our docking light. Those are super important, especially when you're coming to the campground at night, make sure you have those on, um, just so you can see everything around you, picnic tables, you know, tree stumps, you name it. Um, we don't like to come into campgrounds at night, but we know we all end up doing it at some point in time or another. So always have your docking lights on and they're nice and bright. Next up, we have our 365 tires with the Alcoa um, rims. So nice, we love that we have Michelin tires, 365 on the front and 315s on the rear and the tag axle. Now, I, one of the things that you have to go and check out is Retroband. 
Um, all about safety, you've heard me mention it several times, but Retrobrand is just one of those things I think should come standard on a coach. Uh, it is a spare within your tire made specifically for RVs, tested and proven on RVs. And you can see that in my video. Um, you don't wanna leave home without it and you are gonna have great peace of mind and then great safety as you're traveling across this beautiful country. So directly above the tire here, we have our second camera that's gonna to contribute to that 360 view that I'll show you during the test drive. You're going to love. I also want you to notice um, the flush slides. So that's one of the things that Integra does. They've got the Spartan K2 chassis and then they reinforce it with the X bracing, which gives them a nice square box so they can get their slides in and out. There's very um, exact here. Most other coaches will have a big lip to cover that that um, enclosure there, but there's go in flush. And then their sidewalls are made um, with aluminum framing, 16 inch on center with batten insulation, two and a half inch thick walls, um, great insulation, contributes to that quietest riding, best Henley coach on the market today, period. Make sure you check out the beautiful paint on this Anthem. So this is the cobalt exterior. There are five, of, five other options for you to choose from. And then if you wanna tweak it a little, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We are happy to help you with a custom color or um, just little custom things here and there that um, we may be able to get done for you. So we're all about making sure you get the coach of your dreams. You can buy one off our lot or we're happy to do a custom order for you with, um, and it's not gonna cost you any extra money. Notice the dual paned, frameless, tinted windows all the way around the coach. Then we have the Gerard awning package. So we've got the great Nova Gerard awnings. They go right up and they're um, seamless with the coach to kind of give you that bus like feel. We also have the Gerard slide toppers and we have the power window awnings as well. So I've got the remote control for the Gerard awnings. You can also do this with your phone if you've downloaded the app and you can do it from the inside the coach as well. But I just scroll through the channels. So one is the first awning, two is the second awning. And if you get to double zero, you can take out both awnings at the same time. So check out the great amount of shade I have. I've got my beautiful Nova awnings out. I've got my kitchen, my TV awning, and my kitchen awning out. Uh, great shade. Now it's time for us to sit back, relax, and watch a little TV. So here we have our 43 inch Samsung TV. It is on a swivel, so I can bring it out here. Love that, and then it also tilts, which is probably the best feature because if you've got that glare of the sun coming, just that little tilt really does the job for you. We also have our speakers out here, and then we've got our sound control. Basically, I can bring my dash um, radio out here, my Bluetooth, or I can do the TV, and I can control that all here. And then we have the USB input and two 110 outlets. So I'm all set for the party. TV's out, awnings are out. Next thing is to go to my favorite push button doors. You can see the green light lets you know that they're gonna be unlocked. If they were locked, it would be red. And there is the backup key lock in case for any reason, if you don't have power, you can always get into your cargo bay. First bay here is our standard refrigerator freezer. And look at how far that extends. They extend so far because typically when you're using this, you'd have your slide outs um, out. That's still going to extend beyond the slide outs so that you can get into the contents of your refrigerator freezer. Like I said, you can set the temperature so you can make them both freezers or both refrigerators. If you're tailgating and you just want to have drinks out here, that's a great place for it. Or you can make it the deep freeze for, you know, if you're out fishing somewhere in Alaska and you want to bring back fish, you can do it right here in your external freezer. Also inside this compartment, we've got extra storage space and you'll also see a spot for the little remote control for the Gerard awnings. Got the 12 volt for the uh, freezer refrigerator. The compartment's lit. Next compartment is another standard and it's powered folks. How great is that? So. Not only do you get the pass-through tray, you get the power pass-through tray, 
This all is a standard on the anthem. There's even more, look how far it extends. Then let's say you put a heavy toolbox on here, you need to scoot it off or cooler or whatever it may be. You can literally just lift this lip, flip it down and then you can just slide the contents off. Now this right here is the added screen door that goes on your front entry door. So a lot of times I don't put this on because uh, for the co-pilot, they don't wanna look through this screen. They have a better view without it on. But once you're in the campground, um, you wanna use that screen door to keep the bugs out. You can easily put this on at the front door. So I just keep that covered in here. And then we've got our two extra chairs for the dinette. We also have the hoses for our central vac. So having these trays just makes it really easy to get to all of your goods. So just put it back in, power back through. It's gonna come out just as far on the driver's side. With this raised rail chassis, you do get a ton of storage space. So just to give you an idea, from the very center of this entrance to this compartment, you have about 24 inches um, clearance to get your items in. So you have about 16 inches of clearance between the chassis rail and the bottom of your tray. And then your tray takes up, there's about three inches from the floor to the t um, bottom of the tray. So you've got some space in here. I've seen people put brooms, um, different poles, fishing poles down in there. That's not a problem. But just so you know, you do still have about 16 inches of clearance for the pass-through. Also, while you're down here, you're gonna see the X bracing. So that's horizontal and vertical throughout the chassis. Um, Integra adds that after they get the Spartan chassis. It gives it great um, stability and rigidity, takes the bumps and bruises of the road, the road, and then your house does not. Also inside here, we have our Quick Connect airline. So if what you watch my RV 101 series, you can actually fill, fill up your tires from that. Um, you have a huge compressor with your diesel engine. Um, watch that RV 101 series. I take a trip from start to finish, um, and I do that while we're on the trip. Then we've got the two 110 outlets if you need to plug in anything while you're outside. So I just wanna point out, this is the D floor plan, and above the kitchen window awning, you can see the vent for the microwave. Then we have our next marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And second pass-through tray. So again, that's gonna extend all the way out beyond the door, making it really easy to get to all your goods. And inside this compartment, there's one additional 110 outlet. All right, there's a lot to talk about in this compartment. So we've got some extra tiles. Integra always gives you those in case you happen to need them down the road. Hopefully you won't with this great chassis and uh, the X bracing, typically very sturdy and you don't have to worry about um, popping any tiles. But if something does happen, you've got them, which is nice. Then right here in front, you're gonna see the solar charge controller. So on the Anthem standard now, you get two 200 watt solar panels which is great, so that's just the charge controller. And then below that, you've got the resettable breaker and the disconnect for the leveling jacks, the house power, the battery link, the generator and fender compartment, and then two more additional 110 outlets. Also in this compartment, you can see right up here is the 3000 watt pure sign inverter. Right in front of me, we have the disconnects for the inverter, and then we have the vent for the basement area, so it is controlled, but you, you'll be able to see the temperature inside the coach. This is an all seasons coach. Um, you can set the temperature down here so you don't need to worry about freezing. Then we have the connection here for our central vac, so you can vacuum out the basement, keep it nice and tidy. Also pull up your car next to it and vacuum the car out. And then behind this panel, we have the connection here. This is where battery A and battery B come together. That's your battery boost. So you can tie your chassis and your house batteries together to get a little extra power if you come back um, and your batteries are dead. Then we've got the fuses here as well. Here at the midship of the coach, we have our second 
camera that's going to contribute to that 360 view for the passenger side of the coach and then right below that we have our second docking light and then we have our second blind spot monitor light so again that's all going to make sense when i show you that awesome picture at the dash now we have one more big compartment here so behind this is our fresh water tank i love that they give you the view there so you can visibly see how much water you have you have sensors but occasionally if something goes wrong with your sensor you can always just visibly see that then you can also um, fill with potable water right here and you can disinfect your tank here if you need to as well i have also seen some creative ways to store things on this velcro so i've seen customers take velcro and attach um, extension cords or ropes or um, leashes right here just stick them with velcro to that so they make use of that space you'll also notice on the molding here for the seal of the door you've got a little arch there so integra does that so that any water or dew condensation will run off the sides and not um, eat up the uh, rubber seal for your door so here at the tag and drive axle you have drum brakes and on your front axle you've got the abs disc brakes so here is our 15 gallon DEF tank. So that's our diesel exhaust fluid. Um, that has a shelf life of about one year. Uh, it doesn't like sun or heat. So just make sure you store it in a cool, dark place. You're probably gonna fill up your death tank probably every third time you fill up your fuel tank. The other thing about this on the floor plan D and the floor plan R, you only have the fill for your DEF on the passenger side of the coach. On the other coaches, you have dual fill for your DEF on both sides. Inside this compartment is your emergency suspension fill. Uh, hopefully you never need that, but if you have to fill your airbags, maybe because you're being towed, this is where you would do it. Also, this is where you bleed off the line, the bleed the moisture off the line, off your airlines. And I would suggest doing that every time you fill your fuel tank. So start pumping gas, come over and bleed the line. All right, then up ahead here, we've got the vent for the dryer. And then in this compartment, we've got our last marker light, our last blind spot monitor for the passenger side of the coach. And then inside here, we've got our chassis batteries. Chassis batteries here, power management system here, all of our fuses for the back half of the coach. And then we have our battery disconnects. So let's talk about those battery disconnects. You saw them in the, about the third compartment there where we had all the resettable breakers and um, disconnects along with the inverter uh, disconnect. And now we have the chassis battery disconnects. So you wanna make sure if we are not storing your coach at national indoor RV centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at all of our locations, always plugged into 50 amp service. Um, if you're storing somewhere where you're not plugged into 50 amp service, you want to make sure you get all those disconnects turned off so that you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries. So there's our air dryer, our fuel water separator, an oil filter, and then we have the power button for our engine door release. So I just push that and up goes the engine cover door. So now back here to the engine compartment. The Anthem sits on the Spartan K2 chassis. It has the Cummins nine liter turbocharged 450 horsepower diesel engine. You've got your 15,000 pound tow hitch. That means that you're gonna be able to easily tow your Chevy Suburban, no problem, or your jet skis, whatever toys you wanna to take along with, you're, you're not gonna have a problem towing them behind this 450 horsepower engine. Right next to that, you've got this seven way for your lights for your tow vehicle, and then your safe haul uh, airline for your brakes for your tow vehicle. Then we've got the engine exhaust and the beautiful Integra mud flap. So check out this engine compartment. First of all, I want you to notice the uh, insulation in the rear engine compartment. So Integra insulates their front cap and their rear cap, which makes a big difference in keeping your coach inside cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. Then we have our coolant. I love that we have the little window right there. You fill it right here. Just make sure that you're, it's cool when you do that. So you might want to check that in the morning before you take off. And then you have your engine oil fill, your engine oil dipstick right next to your trans um, dipstick and fill. 
we have our uh, hydraulic oil. Right below that, you'll see the little speaker here. That's what makes the swishing sound when you're in reverse. That's how where you would disconnect that. I don't recommend it. And then we have the fuel filter for the engine. Here is the engine block heater, and you just plug that in. When you're in cold areas, you can plug it in and then turn it on from inside. Right now, we definitely don't need it. And then we have the air filter minder. So when that little filter gets up to the red, it's time to change it. At least once a year, you should do that. And then you have your air cleaner. So you can see that the air comes into the air cleaner from this hose here, which actually is drawn into the coach from the vented area here. So it comes in ambient air to the air cleaner, then to the engine. Look at the beautiful rear cap of the Anthem. At the very top, we've got our marker lights. Dead center, we've got the rear view camera. Again, that's gonna to contribute to that 360 view as well. Then we have the beautiful Integra, which is backlit, the high brake light, and then our beautiful brake lights, accent lights here on the side of the coach. As I come around the driver's side of the coach, the first thing we have here is our first marker light and first blind spot monitor for the driver's side. Then we've got the angled louvers for the side radiator. So there's a couple great things about having the side radiator. First of all, Integra has angled these louvers so that it will draw in the ambient air, draws in the ambient air into that uh, radiator fan, which allows it to work more efficiently, which actually gives you a little bit more horsepower. Also, you can obviously, the other reason it's nice to have the side radiator is you can get to the engine compartment, servicing, filling your oils, all that kind of stuff very easily. Then a little RV radiator maintenance. Um, occasionally, after you've been traveling, you'll see that your radiator just gets uh, cluttered with debris, bugs and stuff. So just take your garden hose and softly squirt that off. So again, keeping it clean will help it work more efficiently. And um, that's what we want. Nice cleaner air that goes into our fan so our engine can work more efficiently. Here's another camera, again, to contribute to that 360 view that you're gonna see soon. And our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach. And then our second blind spot monitor for the driver's side of the coach. Right below that is the stinky slinky for your macerator um, hose. So you can put that, keep that right there. I like that it's in a separate compartment than the wet bay. So the wet bay is up next. If we look in here, um, one of my favorite additions for 2024 is right here. So it says front spray port. So you're gonna take your hose that you would typically hook in here to have your external shower. You're gonna take that up front to the front cap and they now have a spigot up there that you can attach that hose. So now you have hot and cold water to the front generator area so that you can wash off your windshield, your front cap when you get to your campsite which is fantastic. So I'll show you how that works in a second. Here's the water filter for the whole coach. And then this is how you change out that filter with this little device here. The shower, hot and cold. You know, if you've got, you know, mud on your feet, you've been to the beach all day, you've been hiking, or you wanna wash off your furry friends, you can do that right here outside the coach. Then let's look up top. We've got the sea level two tank monitor. So you can check your batteries right here. Your fresh tank, fresh tank is 100 gallon, gray tank is 62, and black tank is 41. And you can turn on your water pump here. Here is your black holding tank, T-bar, and your gray water holding tank, T-bar. Then we've got the macerator. We can turn that on right here. Another new feature uh, for 2024 is that you've got the air leveling, and now that you've got the tilt that you can do right here in the wet bay. So you can actually tilt up the passenger side, drop down the driver's side a little bit so you have a better flow when you're doing those dumps and you'll get all that fluid out. Here we can turn on the light for this compartment and then we've got our freshwater tank is when it's horizontal, hookup for city fill is when it's vertical. Right here we have now the black tank flush and a gray tank flush. So we are in black tank flush mode. If we turn it vertical, we're in gray tank flush mode.
This is the retract for our, ho for our hose here. You can push this right through the rubber grommet. Then you can shut your door, keep all the critters out. So again, if you're not sure how to hook everything up here in the wet bay, go to my RV and 101 series. I hook everything up and then I take everything and put it back away when I'm camping so you can see how I do it. So take that and then use that auto reel and you bring it right back in. I do love the auto reel. Here is the spot where we can store soap and paper towels for all the dirty work. Now I'm just gonna pull off this screen here. Here is our shower hose. So we can take that up front. I'll show you how that's gonna work here in a second. You can rinse out this whole compartment. There's a drain here. Here's the elbow that you can connect underneath the coach here if you want to do a gravity dump. And then you've got the cutoffs here to all the different locations in your coach. So if you need to service your shower, you can cut off the water to the shower or the mid um, bathroom. You can do that as well. So you can do that all right here. And if you do connect the elbow and you're doing a gravity dump, this is your T-bar for that. I see this exhaust right here and I already know what's in the next compartment. That's going to be my aqua hot 450 diesel aqua hot that's going to be your on-demand hot water and your furnace also is going to give you your floor heat here is the coolant fill for the aqua hot the fuel the fuel filter for the aqua hot and then the display panel here then we have our SureGuard transfer switch so the transfer switch is what transfers the power from either uh, shore power park power to the generator power and it also has a surge protector. So the surge protector works once. Um, I always recommend extra insurance. So I would add another surge protector either at the end of your 50 amp shore power cord, um, or you can have it wired in to this compartment at National Indoor RV Center so that you have that little bit of extra insurance, I think is wise. I do love the power reel. Of course, you would expect that on this um, class of coach so you just power that back in again we've had those rubber grommets so we can put it through shut the door keep the critters out and then we have one available one tin outlet our cable input satellite input here and you can see another vent there so you're going to have heat to this area when you need it as well so our second marker light and when we look in this compartment we're going to have the dirt devil um, our central vac filter, and then we have the pass-through tray. Again, that's gonna extend all the way out past the door, and it has the flip-down tray, just like it did on the passenger side. Our second pass-through tray, and again, that will come all the way out just like the last one did. Got our extra chairs and hoses there for the central vac. So here is another nice storage compartment. What I love about this compartment is that most manufacturers have the house batteries here. Integra puts them in the center of the coach, um, evens out the weight of those batteries. You got the L16 batteries in the Anthem, and then you get this nice compartment for storage. Now there is an added feature in here in this compartment that I'm super excited to tell you about because, because standard now for 2024 across Aspire, Anthem, and Cornerstone, you get Starlink. So the controllers for Starlink are behind this panel here. So I mentioned the Starlink controllers outside on the driver's side cargo area. Just want to mention that it's really easy. All you have to do is set up an account with Starlink. You're going to need that ID on the controllers out in that bay and then you just put in all your information and you'll be able to use the Starlink. So you're going to love that. Again, all new for 2024 in Aspire, Anthem, and Cornerstone. Our second camera for the driver's side of the coach, second docking light for the driver's side of the coach, our dual uh, fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach, and the badging, love that. So you have that on both the passenger and driver's side. Then you see another exhaust here, that's gonna be for our 10,000 watt Onan generator, which I'll show you in just a second. In this compartment here, we've got our fuses for the front half of the coach. We have our equalizer jack system. So you can operate your hydraulic jacks here from outside the coach, 
or you can do it inside at the dash. So you would just power those on. When you get four solid red lights here, you know that your coach is level. If it can't level, it's gonna give you an excessive slope warning here. When you're ready to leave, you just hit all retract. Jacks will come up, easy as that, and you're ready to go. You can turn your light for this compartment on and off here. You've got a little cargo space. And then we have the generator slide extend here. It does have to be in ignition mode to go to bring that out. So you just push the button and voila, it appears. Now before I leave this side, we've got our last blind spot monitor and the last marker light for the driver's side of the coach. So this is where you'll attach your hose up front. Just push that in there and then you can go and turn on the water back in the wet bay. And there you go, you've got water at the front to wash off the front cap and the windshield wiper. And then to take it off, you just push up as you pull it out. Super easy, just like you do at the shower. Then we have our wussy horn here, windshield wiper fill here, 10,000 watt Onan generator. This is where we put the coolant in. If you were to trip the breaker, this is where you have to reset it. You can start and stop your generator here and it's gonna give you the generator hours. You can also easily service your generator right here. Here is your dipstick and your oil fill. So we have the air horn back in this corner and then we have the condenser for the dash air. This is great. It only has to cool the Freon and travel five feet versus cooling the Freon at the back of the coach and traveling 45 feet up front. So you have nice cool dash air. Also new for 2024, they've given us a directional pin here that's gonna fit into the center when the generator compartment goes in. And then you have the bumpers right here so that when it goes in, you have a nice secure fit. Now to my favorite part, let's go check out the inside. As I step into the Anthem, I've got the nice leather wrapped grab bars, uh, both vertically here and horizontally here so I can easily get in and out of the coach safely. And then right as I walk in, there is a main disconnect for the house batteries. So really easy to do as you're walking out and then turning it back on when you come back to the coach. You also have a step power button. So once you're at the resort and uh, you are settled, you don't want the steps to go out and in every time you open up your door. So you wanna turn the power off to them. Then we have our step lights. So that's gonna illuminate the stairwell here so you can get in safely. And in that first step, we have a little drawer. I think it's great for gloves or for slippers or your pet leash, you know, maybe some little doggy treats, little things that you need to get from outside the coach really easily. Just above the step light, we've got the panel here for our master lights on and off. And then our passenger security, driver side security, our entry shade, and our nightshade and our entry shade day shade. Also our, our awning lights for the passenger side and awning lights for the driver's side. Rear patio awning, front patio awning, and entryway awning. And also a settings button so we can adjust the screen. Brightness, cleaning mode, blackout mode, um, and then it just lets you know where the entry, where this device is located. It also gives you a little color legend so that you can see that your day shade is the black, night shade is the white, and then the awning is the maroonish color. Then right next to the panel, we have the fire extinguisher for the coach. Now, if you're like me, one fire extinguisher for this whole 45 foot coach isn't quite enough. Um, I really want to have Protang, the fire suppression system on my coach. We sell it exclusively at National and RV centers. If you know anything about us, we only sell products that we truly believe in. So go and check out my video on Protein. All right, so now that we're in the cockpit area, let's go over the storage compartments here and what's in each door. So here are our AC overrides. So that's for all um, three ACs and they will override anything else. So if you don't turn them off here, they're not gonna go off. They're gonna continuously run. So make sure you turn those off and really only use them for emergency. Then we have our slide controls for the kitchen slide, super slide, vanity slide, and bed slide. Of course, you can always control those on your Vega Touch and on the app um, from your phone. Then we have our wine guard over the air antenna, so we can just turn that on and we can search for local stations 
and it will lock on and let you know what it finds. So nine local stations, super easy to use. Then in this compartment, we've got our WineGuard Travelers satellite control box here, power, we can search and stow. We have one available, 110 outlet. And then this is the lockout box for our TV. So RVIA standards doesn't allow you to have the TV on while you're going down the road. Um, I have had some customers that have moved that lockout box so that they can throw up their GPS or nav system on the TV while they're traveling down the road. Then we have our 32 inch Samsung TV. So the Trimark is for your key fobs, for your entry door and your cargo, and you can reset them right here. Uh, now those two switches, you should never touch, even though you can see them, um, unless you're talking and doing what is instructed from a National Indoor RV Center's technician or an Integra technician. Then we also have four available 110 outlets and lots of storage room. Then we have our power control center, so you can see leg one and leg two, we've got the breakers. Leg one is all in red, leg two is all in blue. So I can go over that a little bit more. You've got two legs coming into the coach. Leg one, you have 50 amps, and leg two, you have 50 amps. So put those together, you have a 100 amps of power coming into the coach. Everything here in blue, like I said, is powered by leg one. And then everything on leg two is gonna come through the inverter, pass through to the breaker box and power all of these things. So your refrigerator, microwave, kitchen, living room, bedroom, awning, cab and dash area, and your bathroom. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 44D Anthem. So I've turned around the captain's and the co-captain's chairs, so that gives you two more reclining chairs. We have the theater seating here, and then we opted for the fireplace wine cooler desk area across from the theater seating. This has become a really popular setup, even if you have people that travel with you occasionally, because look how much space here. You can throw up an air mattress and you can put an extra bed out here really easily. Plus, we don't want to make our guests too comfortable, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. But the theater seats are a game changer. They're really comfortable. You're going to love them. So you can sit here. They're powered. So sit back, relax, put out the footrest. We've got a little cubby here for storage. Two cup holders. You also have a USB charging port um, in the area where you power the theater seating in and out. And then they've given us a new drawer for 2024. Rather than having that really deep area inside here, it's like halfway as deep and then you've got the drawer. Love that. We've got the two 110 outlets behind both chairs. Great window here behind us. Look at the beautiful lighting. Um, I just love this coach. Plus you have storage above. No divider in there, so you can get a lot of goods in there. So when you option in the fireplace, you get this awesome fireplace with the remote. You can do it manually by yourself too as well. But you just hit the power on here, and then you can adjust the flame so you can scroll through the different options. And you can keep this just for ambiance, or this is the fastest way to warm up your coach takes the chill off the coach immediately. Uh, so you can set the temperature here and you can set a timer. It's really easy. Now that's not even all the great functions that you have because not only do you get the fireplace, but if you open up your little door here, up inside here, there is a button. Now I just open the fireplace and check out all the storage behind the fireplace. So not only is it really useful, you also get storage area. Now you can add this option on the 44D and the 44W floor plans. Right above the fireplace, we have our AV cabinet basically. I like this because there's also storage for more items, but you've got your matrix box so you can direct the input to whatever TV you'd like it at. Then you have your Sony Blu-ray DVD player. You also have three 
available, one tent outlets, two behind there, and then you've got your cable input, traveler receiver input here. Then we have our Bose soundbar and our 50 inch smart TV, so great for viewing. Then over here, we've got a nice counter space area, window, flip down, pull out desk. So that's a nice feature. And then the wine cooler. And more storage to the side of the cooler there. Now the thing that I love about having this configuration with the fireplace and the TV is that when your slides are in, you have a ton of space. Um, when you have the sofa theater seating option, it's much tighter. So if you, you know, have furry friends that are kind of big, or if you need to get through, um, want a bigger pathway, the 44D or the 44W with this cabinetry is going to give you a ton of walking space. And I'll show you that towards the, um, you know, end of the video from the interior. Now, speaking of the interior, notice the beautiful matte finish on our Stonewall gray cabinetry, just gorgeous. And then you have three other wood finishes that you can choose from the linen, which is the white cabinetry, the almond, which is more of that natural color wood, and the auburn, which is a little bit darker. You have the gorgeous anthem floors. You also have a few options. So if you wanna do a custom order with National Indoor RV Centers, we're happy to help you with that. We don't care if you wanna order your coach, wait a couple months, or if you want to uh, buy one of the coaches off of our lot. If you want to order, we can change out the floor. If you want that wood grain lick floor from the Aspire, we can put that in here. We can also work on the hardware, just a few little tweaks. Now the interior package is the desert interior, which is kind of the mid-level um, color for the leather seats. You also have two other interior packages that you can choose from. Also notice the beautiful ceiling treatment and then they've moved the vents for the AC in, which is great because now when you bring your slide rooms in, the airflow is right in the center of your coach. It's not having to spill over the slide room. So I really like that. So here with the co-captain's chair turned around, I've got another chair with a foot rest, which is great. Got a little spot for my drink right down below here. I've got two 110 outlets so I can plug in, charge my devices if I need to. And I have access to this quick control panel. So right here, I have the front master light on and off, entry light, kitchen ceiling, midship, living room ceiling, living room ceiling accent, living room edge accent. And you can see that they've got the little up and down arrows so I can dim those lights so it's not quite as bright if I don't want it that bright. Then I can also do the dinette, super slide overhead cabinet, super slide ceiling and kitchen sink. And then I can control the entry shade, uh, night shade, day shade, front shade, master night shade and day shade. And then I can go to my settings. I've got the brightness, screensaver, cleaning mode, color legend in case I forget. It's all right there at my fingertips. And then just above that, we've got our thermistor. So the thermistor is what communicates with the thermostat to keep the temperature nice and comfortable where you've set it. I'll point those out as we go through the coach. Above the cooler, we have the light switch for this area and two 110 outlets. So standard, you get the table and chairs with the pull-out extension table. If you want, you can option in the booth. So in the old floor plan, the 44F, you couldn't have the booth and that was a change that Integra made when they flipped the kitchen to the other side and gave you the option of either the dinette or the booth. So with the dinette, you get the nice little chairs. One of the things I do love about the chairs is that they swivel, so it's really easy. These are actually really nice chairs you can add to your living room area when you have extra guests. You also have a little lock underneath the table so you can extend that table. And you've got the two extra chairs that we have in the outdoor cargo compartment that you can add here so you can get four to your table. And then you just simply push that away, lock it in place, but you do get the nice buffet area there so you can have pictures and kind of have some decorative items there or if you're using your coach as your office, that gives you some extra space. Plus you get all the space in the cabinet. cabinet. So we have the pull-out drawer on both sides. 
nice storage there the big space there in the center and then the same setup on the other side with the drawer and the two shelves on both ends of the buffet you have 110 outlets available look at the nice decorative lights and then we have storage above the table again no divider in there so you can optimize the use of that space so Integra redesigned the kitchen for the 44D for the 2024 year. So you have all this beautiful solid surface counter space and it's a straight line you can see. Last year there was a little bit of a curve of it. You didn't have this extra cabinet here. Now you have this extra cabinet with uh, three dividers so you can put canned goods in there, whatever you need. I just love that a little bit of extra space. Then you have the great drawer that we always have right underneath our induction cooktop. Nice big space here for all your tools. Um, induction cooktop, so anything that a pan, that a magnet will attach to, that pan will work on this stove. What's great about it is it doesn't get super hot to the touch. It gets hot immediately when you put that pan down and boils quickly, but then when you take it off, the heat source goes away, so it's nice. So the dishwasher comes standard, uh, but for this year, you can opt to not have, you can delete the dishwasher and get two additional drawers. So you would get one drawer that was the same size as this one and then another deeper drawer. Now, another thought too, just on the, you know, the side of the dishwasher, <laughs> if you wanna keep it, I've all seen people uh, use this as a cooler. So they're having friends over, they throw ice in here, put the drinks in here. They have another cooler because you do have a drain in there. So just a thought or you can delete it and have two more drawers. Then we go over into the kitchen setup here. I've always loved this setup because you have room for a big waste can. You've got a spot here for your sink covers. We've got the Integra Bible in there, but lots of space for cleaning supplies or whatever else you need. And you also have the flip down, so you've got the little garbage um, shoot there that just goes right into the waste basket and then you have a spot for your like your brushes and sponges then we have the Blanco it's like a granite sink and I do love that one bowl residential faucets we have the filtered water right here at the tap and a soap dispenser still have a lot of counter space but then we get even more when we extend the counter and then check out these full extension drawers so deep and I do love another little cutting board really nice and the other thing that Integra gives us they give us a little touch-up paint for the exterior of the coach now if you need more than just the touch-up paint <laughs> give us a call at National Enduro RV Centers you can go watch my video on paint and body um, we seriously have the best crew in the nation we have um, full-size paint RV paint booths at all of our locations except our Manassas location. We are still in our temporary location there, but we'll soon be hopefully moving into our new space there where we will have the storage for over 300, at least 300 coaches. Um, some of our locations, we have a lot more than that, like our Phoenix location, just open that up and we've got like triple the storage space. So really, we are all about helping our customers after the sale. So when you get that boo-boo and we all know it's gonna happen, give us a call. We'll work with your insurance company and you don't have to do anything else. We'll make it really easy and our work is guaranteed for life for you. Another full extension, nice step there as well. Love those drawers. And that little bit of extra counter space really helps. Plus it kind of divides your space too, and I like that. So now above our convection microwave oven, we've got the cover for our induction cooktop. So if we're not using that, we wanna have cover it up, we can easily cover that. But this year, Integra has given us a cutting board. So it's actually has two uses. So we can use it as a cutting board or we can cover our cooktop to protect that. Sits right in there. And then below that, we've got our convection microwave oven. So you can bake whatever you need to in there. And then to the side here, we've got our spice rack. Above the sink, we've They've taken out the divider there. They just have the divider here, giving us the two pull-out trays so we can get to everything at the very back of that cabinet. 
and the very back of this cabinet you can reach you've got your extra filter in here all of your remotes and just underneath the cabinet we have two 110 outlets there and another two 110 outlets here and I'm not done because we still have storage here on both sides of the kitchen window and I do love that kitchen window especially when you're in a beautiful campground when you're doing the making dinner and all that good stuff you can still feel like you're outdoors and enjoy the beautiful park that you're at then we have our LG residential refrigerator and freezer we have ice and water in the door and freezer with the top compartment here ice and the bottom compartment I love that those are separated so you can easily get to all of your goods and check out the nice size pantry on the D so pull out those drawers they're nice and tight tight so they're not going to come open during trance um, while you're traveling on that note I forgot to tell you you do have the locks there on the refrigerator and the freezer so you want to make sure you add those to your checklist. If you want a copy of my checklist, just email me at Angie, A-N-G-I-E, at N-I-R-V-C dot com. I'll be happy to send it to you. So they just push in, lock in place there. I love that you've got the three up top and then the two deeper drawers down below. So you could easily get like an Instapot, air fryer, some of those bigger appliances. I'd probably have a KitchenAid because, you know, I have to make cookies on the road. <laughs> um, love that nice size pantry then we have our dustpan so you just click it and it will suck all the debris away that you've swept over to that area you also have the central vac here so you can plug in here midship and get to the front of the coach and the rear of the coach and then we have the rv co and propane gas alarm along with a thermistor for the midship area and then another thermistor midship area right below the vega touch which i can't wait to go over with you so let's click in here and go to our home screen the home screen is going to give us our basic information that we need so uh, we're getting the date and time obviously these are our interior lights and exterior lights we can turn them on and off then we have our memory settings here that we can program so that we can have different lights come on at different times so you can have set one two or three then you've got your day shades and your night shades away in stow so here you're going to see your power source so you can see that we're plugged into shore power we have 120 volts on line one and 123 volts on line two. Chassis batteries, house batteries, and then your auto gen start you can turn on here. Our inverter is on. You can turn off and on your generator there and it will give you your generator hours. Then over here, we've got our tank levels. So we've got our fresh tank, gray and black. Fresh is 100, gray is 62, black is 41. Those are all at zero right now. And then we've got our temperature for inside the coach and in our cargo bays. We can turn on the water pump here and the engine preheat if we've got that um, the engine block heater plugged in in the engine compartment and then our diesel heat and our electric heat so if you're planning on taking a shower go ahead and turn your diesel heat on if you are just washing your hands or wash, washing a pot or pan just need a little bit of hot water you can do just your electric heat then we can go to our next page which is our light page so we have basic mode and control mode so right now I'm in control mode and I can literally turn on and off individual lights and as I hit those lights it tell me it tells me which ones I'm turning on and off so the bed accent the rear bath accents I've got them all on now if I want to go to basic mode it's going to do full areas so if I want to turn the master bath area off I just hit that button and it will go off if I want to turn that back on it will all go back on so you can decide how you want to do your lighting when you're in control mode you can go to that light and let's say let's go to our bedroom light and I can adjust the brightness and leave it there so it's not full brightness it will stay there until you reset it or you can take it back to 100 then we've got our shades. The shades are sort of the same way. So you can do each individual shade in control mode. 
or you can go to basic mode and you can do areas where you can take up all your day shades or take up all your night shades or put them all down. So that's a really nice, easy way to do your shades very quickly. So then we can go to our coach here. Our coach, this is where we will take out the slides, our exterior lights and our awnings. So right now you can see that you can do um, individual lights. So our awning lights, um, our under the slide room lights. Oh, for 2024, that's a new thing. So you have under the slide room lights on your driver's side and your passenger side. So nice little bonus. So I can go to my slides here. You're always gonna get this warning just to make sure you're clear of people, objects, your captain and co-captain's chairs. You'll learn that the hard way sometimes. Um, you don't wanna do that. So this is where you can extend and retract your slide rooms. And then we have our awnings. So again, they're gonna tell you to watch out for tree limbs, branches, people, coaches, but you can click the awnings that you wanna take out these are your um, slide awnings there for the living room area and then the bedroom. And then you just hold your finger down and extend those to take them out. Super easy. Now we have our climate control. So you can see what the climate is throughout the coach. And then we have everything off right now. You can easily cycle through and put it on cool or heat. This is where you can turn on your aqua hot, um, your heat pump for the three AC areas, and then your aqua hot for the bay outside. You can turn on your floor heat right here. And then you can also do your kitchen fan, your mid bath fan, and your rear bath fan. And again, your diesel heat and your electric heat. So this is for the solar charger. So now it's gonna tell you how many watts you're bringing in the coach. So you have amps. 9.3 volts 38.4 it changes on you obviously um, amps times volts equals your watts so it's going to tell you here what you're doing for your house batteries and your chassis batteries and then we can go to the controller details just gives you a little bit more um, in-depth information and the one that i really like is your history so it's going to let you know how much solar power you're bringing in today yesterday two days ago or your average for seven days. Next step is sort of like your favorites page. So you can add items to the like quick buttons to this page. So if I wanted to add some that weren't already on the list, I could say my porch light. I wanna add that. So select it, save and close. Now my porch light is on my favorites page. So now let's say I wanna add my porch to my home screen. So I'm gonna hit home edit, click this porch, and maybe the entry locks. And now I'm going to, now go if I go to my home screen, you can see my entry lock and my porch light on my home screen. Home screen. So I can go back to my favorites page here and I can take those off or just reset the home page if I want. So then we go to our settings page. So display is where your brightness is. You can also mute sounds for certain things. Like I've got a, a alarm going off here. I didn't want to hear that alarm anymore. So I muted the sound. Then I can check for updates here. Sleep, so I can set my screensaver when I want it to sleep um, in different areas of the coach. User, this is where you can check for system faults or go to user manual. Images, this is where you can add images to your screen, make a little slideshow. And then pairing, so this is super important. You need to download the Nebula app and then you'll just scan the QR code here and then you can um, have everything, pretty much, not everything that you can do on this screen, you can do from your phone, which is really nice. Now, the one thing that I love about um, the Vega Touch here is if you forgot something or if you're not sure how something works, you click the little question mark here and then you can go to the Away and Stow. I can click that and it's gonna tell me push and hold away or stow to set up action gives you a little tutorial on what that button does. When you're done, you can close it. When all your questions have been answered, you just hit that again and you're good to go. And then you have the little sleep button. So that takes the screen away back to this basic screen. Now I can also go to my blackout screen so that there's nothing on it. 
just click it to bring it back to life. Right here is the cleaning mode. So I need to clean some of these fingerprints off here, but I can do that and it will time it out for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or a, a full minute if I need to wipe it down. So cancel that. And then if I'm not sure what these buttons are for, I can also hit the little A's there and it will label everything for me. So if I have any questions, now I know what they are. So very easy to use. You're gonna love, love, love this. Next up is our half bath. I think Integra has some of the biggest half baths. Uh, so we have storage above, max fan, and then we have storage in the medicine cabinet. Also our fuses here, but a lot of nice storage right behind the mirror. Towel hook there, two 110 outlets, beautiful solid surface with the integrated sink, residential faucet. We do have a control panel for the ceiling lights and the accent lights, uh, the shades, the night shade and the day shade, and then the fan controls. It also gives us our tank levels and we can turn on the water pump from here. The flip down here, and then more storage. Another storage compartment, and a storage compartment behind the commode. Push button toilet controls, and our toilet paper holder, and another towel hook. Next up is the beautiful master bedroom of the 44D. Now, I do wanna make sure that you know that there's pocket doors that separate the living room from the bedroom and you just press down to pull them out and extend them they go all the way across also another pocket door from the bedroom to the bathroom and another pocket door from the bathroom to the closet so when you push them in they do lock in place and then when you release the park brake when you're going to travel mode there is an air secure lock that goes up and holds them in place as well so that you don't have rattling while you're going down the road. So that helps contribute to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. Now, new for 2024, we've changed from sleep number to select comfort mattress. This is a big deal. Most of my customers that have gotten a 24, they are loving this mattress. So I unzipped it here. You can see that the bladder is at the bottom and then keep that covered you've got like three inches of foam to give you a nice, comfortable sleep. And then you can adjust that just like you could the sleep number. So you've got controls. Um, each person has their own control. Um, one thing that you want to remember when you're traveling to areas where you're going up into high altitudes, so up in the mountains, Colorado, Utah, certain places, you wanna make sure you take some of that air out or you're going to pop the bladder of your comfort mattress. So we have a lot of storage above the bed. Check out how deep that cabinet is. I cannot reach the back of it. We have two 110 outlets. So typically I would have big plastic bins that I could push in and out, but you do have quite a bit of height in there. So there is a lot of storage space above the bed. Then underneath the cabinets, you've got the control for your ceiling fan. So Integra is one of the few manufacturers that actually gives you a ceiling fan. Uh, a lot of my customers love that, can't live without it. And then you've got your controls for the lights, for the rear master, ceiling, reading, accent, overhead bed. You can lock and, un and unlock and lock your entry door, your courtesy lights, you can black out this screen so that it's not shining in your, in your eyes when you're trying to sleep. And then you can control your bedroom shade, night shade, day shade, vanity night and day shade. And you can go to your settings here, adjust the brightness, cleaning mode, blackout, color legend, all that good stuff right here. So you have your overhead lights that are on right now. And I just turned on the reading lights you can also adjust those just by touch. So one touch gives you a light light, then a strong light, and those are directional. So you can direct that light where you need it. Notice the headboard of the Anthem, and then we have the nice tapered valances so that you don't hit those when you're sleeping. It goes right into our nightstands with a solid surface nightstand. And right below that, we've got two 110 outlets that's on both sides along with a storage compartment. 
All right, so you remember when I said you can custom order your coach? One of the options is a wooden headboard here instead of the fabric. So just let us know, National Indoor RV Centers, we're happy to create that custom order, perfect coach, exact, exactly to your liking, just for you. We also get a ton of storage underneath our bed. So look at all that storage, nice deep space on both sides of the bed. Then we get this beautiful mirror and the thermistor for our bedroom. Then we go over to the wardrobe area. So the most bedrooms are all set up like this. You have this great wardrobe on both sides with um, dividing with uh, adjustable shelves. Now over here, we've got the top shelf being our AV compartment. So we have our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. Plus we have the input for uh, the TV, HDMI input in there. Then there is the 32 inch 4K smart TV. And there's just a little click back here, a little, um, you just push that lever right there to open this space. And you've got your safe, more space, a one available 110 outlet. And then just below this, you have another um, control panel for lighting, two 110 outlets, and a nice little area here for pictures or jewelry box, whatever you'd like to put there. A little plant. Below that, we have our sound bar, drawer, nice big drawer, big center drawer. And then we have two drawers on either end of the wardrobe. So a ton of storage in this bedroom. All right, did you notice something when I walked into the bathroom? I didn't have to step up. So that's one of the things that I like about the 44D floor plan is that you have a full flat floor until you get into the closet, full flat floor. That was a good, <laughs> um, but that's really nice because you don't have to navigate uh, steps when you're sleeping at night, when you have to get up and use the restroom. It's really easy to get in. Plus your vanity is on the slide. So it just really opens this up and make it makes it feel big. Also behind this pocket door, we have a full length mirror. So you can check out your outfit before you head out. And then we step into the bathroom. We've got this beautiful vanity here, double sinks, solid surface with integrated sinks. I love that because it's really easy to keep clean. Residential faucets, beautiful backsplash. 110 outlets on both sides. Little towel hook here. And then we've got another control panel for lighting, our fans, water pump, check our tank levels right there. And then this is my favorite favorite. So I think Integra was one of the first manufacturers to really make this space useful. It used to just be a big mirror everywhere. Now there's medicine cabinets behind each mirror. So tons of storage. And then the bonus of you can use these mirrors and you can check the back of your hair, make sure everything's looking good. I just love this setup. Then you've got the flips in front of the sink and all this drawer space. I love the divided space. I love to have drawers because if you give me too much deep drawers in the bathroom, <laughs> I'll never be able to find what I'm looking for. So I really like that they've given you those four different drawers and then look at all that space. All right, we have the porcelain toilet with the push button controls. We have storage behind it. Also wanted to mention that on the uh, 44D floor plan, you have a macerated toilet in the master and in the half bath. Nice window two 110 outlets, more storage above, our fan, and then I love to have extra places to hang towels. So towel here, towel there, towel here. We've got the lock for the shower door. Again, that's one of those things that's on my checklist. And then we step into our beautiful shower, 36 by 40. We have the teak wood seat that you can put up if you don't need that to give you extra space. Love a little cubby for my um, shampoos and conditioners. And then we've got the fixed head plus the handheld that you can put on here and you can adjust that up and down so it's at the right height for you. And then we have the nice skylight. So, I mean, this is a really big shower. Tall people, short people, wide people, it fits everyone. <laughs> 
We also have the uh, Aquaview Shower Miser. So you can see the little dial right here. There's a little recirculating arrows. So you're gonna put that over to the recirculating arrows um, before you get in the shower. It's gonna recirculate the water and then when this lights up, that water's warm. So now you're gonna put this over and the water will come out. So you're not needlessly filling up your gray tank and you're not needlessly using your freshwater tank water. So saving water saving device, plus you don't have that chill of the cold water hitting you. Here's the toggle switch for the ceiling light in the closet. Now I'm gonna step up into my closet. I love the walk-in closet. I'm a big fan of it. So we have this great cabinet right when I walk in with adjustable shelves and then three big drawers. So think about that. We've got one, two, I think six drawers out in the master bedroom area. Three more big drawers here. And then all this hanging space. I don't have to open any doors to get to it. So I have access to the full closet with the cedar lined. Um, it's lit, just great. And then we have our washer and dryer over on this side. So we have this Splendid dryer and washer. And then we have a little storage spot here. We can put our tablets for washing machine, our dryer sheets, um, everything has its place. I always like to show the floor plan with the slides retracted. So you can see that you can easily get to your master bed. You can sleep on it without taking the slides out if you need to. You can easily get to your pantry. You have access to all the drawers and you can pull them all the way out so you can get to the items in the very back of the pantry. Plenty of room to get into your half bath. Your control panel. Your freezer and refrigerator. Lots of room up here in the kitchen area by the dinette. And then this is the part that I really want to show is look how much space you get when you opt in for the fireplace wine cooler option. You can even sit down and fully extend the theater seating with the slides in. So pretty cool, lots of space. So if that's important to you, you might wanna check out this floor plan again. You can get this option in the D and W floor plans only. So we're finally to the cockpit area and then guess what comes next, the test drive. So I'm super excited. First of all, I'm in this super comfy captain's chair. Uh, you're gonna love it. You can spend all day driving and you're not gonna mind at all. And then after you're done, you can turn it around and put it in the living room and you'll sit in it even longer. You'll love it. Uh, it's powered, so forward and back, front down and up and rear down and up. And then we've got our backrest and our lumbar support. This will be your footrest when you are in the living room position, which you get to by lifting a lever just over here to the left and then turning the chair. And then we have our heated seats right here. So the low and then the high and center is off. So here to the left, I've got the tag dump. I'm always gonna keep that in auto. You may need to um, dump the tag if you need extra traction, say if you're stuck in mud or something like that. Hopefully you never get in that situation. Then we can start and stop the generator from here. Our battery boost, this is where we're gonna tie the chassis and house batteries together to get a little bit more power to start our ignition or start the generator. The dome light is directly above me here cup holder, drink holder here, and then we've got the wireless charging pad here. So you can just lay your phone down there and it will start to charge so easy. Then we've got our Allison transmission, so reverse, neutral, and drive. If you go into mode, you can go into economy mode. And then if you press the plus and the minus at the same time, you can get oil information, engine information, oil life, filters, trans health. So quick, easy information and very accurate as well here at the dial. Right below that, I've got the USB input and 12 volt input. Then we have our parking brake. So pull to apply and push to release. 
Next to that, we have our light switch. So we can put it on auto. Then we have our headlight switch on auto. They're gonna come on automatically whenever you need them. Um, headlights, running lights, or turn those off. And then our fog lights. Here on the steering column, we have the hazard. So you're just gonna pull that out. I can't tell you how many times at RV shows I've seen people turn the hazards on and then they don't know how to turn them off. So the trick is to turn your turn signal on or off and it turns off those hazards. Then we've got our turn signal, obviously up, down, and you can pull forward to flash your brights. We have the paddles here, so answer and hang up a call. Up to answer, down to hang up. And then we have the engine brake, so up to turn it on, you'll see it come up on your dash, and then down you can scroll through high, medium, and low. So the paddle controls over on the right side, we have the volume control for the radio, and then we can mute if we push up, and then if we push down, we can turn the display on and off on the tower. So up top, all the buttons, we have our headlights that we can flash right here. We can set the cruise control. So you can turn the cruise control on. You'll see the dial come up on the screen. And then a little trick, if you want to air up your coach quick, quicker, you'll hit the set. Your RPMs will go up and raise, um, fill up your airbags quicker. So on, set, resume, and then you can cancel your cruise here. Then over on this side, we've got our marker lights that we can flash. So say you've passed a big semi truck he's going to flash his headlights to let you know that it's safe for you to go back into the lane that you were traveling in so you may just want to hit your marker lights three times to thank him then we've got our windshield wiper controls now remember you have the um, mo moisture detection windshield wipers so you don't really need this anymore unless you just you know something comes up and you want to do it so you can turn them on and off here high and low and then our windshield wiper fluid in the center and our air, air horn is here so press that you'll see the little air horn come up on the dash display so you know you have that on i think that's one of the most important things when you're driving uh, you just have the little wussy horn here if you don't have the air horn on and when you're driving something this big you need to make sure they can hear you if you need to use that horn now the center dial here so screen view right now if I had the coach turned on, I'd have my miles per hour up here on the screen. I can flip through and I can have my GPS come up on the screen. And I can also throw my camera, my 360 camera over here on the screen. So source is where I can scroll through radio, Bluetooth, Sirius, USB, right there. And then I can uh, seek for stations right here. And then I can go into my main control here for information on my dash. So right now I've got the home screen up and I've got trip one up. If I press down, I'll get more information about trip one. Down again, I'm gonna get my tire pressure. I've got tire pressure management system on this. And if I press into it, then I can get my temperature as well. Press down, now I'm at easy steer. So easy steer is your computer aided driving assist. I like to have more assistance. So it's actually going to detect like a strong wind or a camber to the road and automatically adjust. Also, it feels different in the steering wheel as well. I like it to feel kind of tight. Um, so I usually have it up at the max when I'm driving on the freeway. Actually, I usually have it on the max most of the time. The only time I ever really turn it down is um, when I'm in a parking lot and making tight turns, it's a little bit easier to maneuver if you do that. So you can just click into that and then you can adjust it up or down and then lock it in to your preferred setting. And you can do that while you're traveling. So if it changes, you know, the circumstances of how you're driving changes, it gets windier, you can turn it up to max. If you don't want as much um, help, then you can turn it down. Then we've got the air leveling here. We can do that here as well as on the dash. We can go through our brightness. We can click in and adjust that. Settings. I'm going to scroll to the very top and I can go to my TPMS settings. Click in here 
and this is where I can see my tire pressure and temperature all on one screen. I can also add a tow vehicle. If I just click in here and you can click through um, which type of tow vehicle you want to add. You can also zoom your navigation system, uh, adjust your windshield wiper sensitivity, adjust your sound volume, your units from Fahrenheit to Celsius, get service reminders, and this is a favorite screen um, position, so click into that. And now from the steering column here, I can go up or down with the screen position to make it best for my viewing. And then click in, lock that, auto traction control, diagnostics, configuration, and then back to the beginning. So a favorite of mine is the key. They brought back the key, yay! <laughs> we had the keyless fob before. Occasionally you'd lose batteries and it just, there were some issues. So keep it simple with the key. You still have the fob for your doors, entry doors and cargo doors, but for the ignition, you just have the good old fashioned key, which I love. So now to my favorite screen, check out this. 15 inches, look at that view of my coach. Now you may be wondering what this red line is. I kind of mentioned it when we were outside, but this is your blind spot monitor. So it's letting me know that there's something right to the side of me. Now we happen to be parked and we were right next to trees, but as a car comes up alongside you, the red bar will go from here to here to here, and it will work on both sides of the coach, just giving you that extra alert that there's something in your blind spot. Absolutely love this. So while we're on it, let's go ahead and touch the camera here. So now I'm gonna give all my different views. So right now we're in that 360 bird's eye view. I can go to the 360 bird's eye view here, and then this is the rear camera. So I can see that there's a coach right behind me. I can do just the rear view camera, front camera, side, side rear, passenger side front, passenger side rear. So that's just phenomenal and it's so easy to see when you're driving. You'll get, I'll show you as we do the test drive. Then let's go down here, we've got our audio. So we've got our radio controls here, our seek buttons, everything that we need is right there. We can change the source and those are all of our options. Climate, so this is for the dash AC, so the driver and the passenger. Uh, you can do them separately or you can sync them together our shade controls. So to do the shades, you have to click the section. So there's the driver's window. If I only wanna bring that up and down or shade. And typically I'm gonna have both the driver and the passengers together. So I can bring up my night shade, my day shades together. Now, if we're camping, I want those shades down and I just wanna bring up the entry door so I can let people in and out. I can easily bring up that shade or the passengers. So just, you click into the section that you want to operate. Then we have our controls. So we have our mirrors, our external mirrors. So we can set those just how we want them and then put memory on those. So for driver one, driver two, our auto defrost, tilt. So we can go up and down with the steering column until it gets nice and comfortable. And we can also telescope and bring that forward and back. Now this is a favorite button of mine, the pedals. So as you're driving, you can adjust those forward and back. Typically you'll do that before you start driving, but say you've been driving for a while and you just need a little adjustment, you can do that as well. So love that feature. Then we have our GPS right here, so you can put in your address, everything is right there. Your passenger can also do that as well. Then you can see that we have the um, AC controls are off right now. We also have the manual dials below for the AC and heat. Then over here, we can go to our leveling, so we can go to our travel, high ride, normal or low ride. Manual, this is for the air leveling. 
I can manually lower or raise the coach and then I can go to auto where I'm just going to raise or lower. And then we have our hydraulic jacks so we can turn that on and we have four red dots that means that we're level. If we can't level it's going to go to excessive slope here. Let us know we may need to readjust, move the coach just a little bit, try it again. Still won't level if we still get that excessive slope then we may need to move the coach again but make sure you give it about 20 minutes between tries um, so that you don't burn up that that pump. Auto level all retract so when you're ready to leave the resort all retract and you'll go into travel mode then this is where we compare our phone so we can have uh, conversations um, hands free our lights so the dome lights are right above the driver and passenger our master interior light master exterior light our badge light so that's on either side of the coach and then we have our accent light our C lights in front and our docking lights Utilities, so I can adjust the temperature of the house here at the driver's seat, which is nice. Um, if I've got people in the back, I can easily adjust that. Uh, my entry door lock, so that's wonderful, but one of those things I want you to remember with Integra, one of the things that contributes to its quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today period, is the fact that it, they've got the air locks. So once you uh, release the parking brake, it also engages that air lock. So when you go to unlock the door to let someone in, you'll wanna put the coach in neutral, um, put the parking brake on so that it releases that airlock and then let them get in. And then your cargo lock and unlock, generator on and off, auto gin on and off, step slide cover so you can extend that so that none of your passengers fall into the stairwell there. Super nice that you have that here for the driver can do and the passenger can do that as well. Then we have our settings. So here is where you can go to the TV out, nav. You can throw those up, the cameras up on your overhead TV. And then you can have the TV on as well, but not while you're driving unless you take out that lockout feature. Bluetooth, your phone, settings. This is so you can customize your screen. And then you can customize the brightness and then you can reset all the settings. This is what you will scan on your phone to update this system. Right below the AC controls, we've got a little cubby here for miscellaneous items. Now in the passenger seat, I'm gonna sit back and relax. One of my favorite features here is of course the footrest. So I can totally get comfy as we go down the road. One of those things a driver can't do. The other thing that I love that makes it very comfortable now is I have my own panel. I can control my own AC. I can control the music here. I can control the volume, the temperature, so I can control it and set the direction of the airflow. I can also sync it if I want to with the driver. And then I've got my shade controls for the windshield, uh, driver, day, and passenger, and then the night driver and passenger. My lights, the dome lights straight above, the interior master and the exterior master. And then my settings so I can control the brightness Bring that up a little bit brighter, might be easier for you to see. And clean the screen and then reset the screen. Also gives me the time and temperature. Then we have the step cover, so I can let a passenger in and remove that step cover. And we have the HDMI input and USB. Just behind my screen, I've got my cup holder. And then way back here, I've got the two 110 outlets. Well, how many times have you heard me say it's my favorite part? Well, this is my next favorite part, the test drive. Um, I always get a little jealous when I take customers out because I'm like, are you ready for me to drive? Um, these are really fun to drive. I know they're a little daunting at first, but there's nothing to be afraid of. They fit in the lane. 
Um, you just have to get used to where your turning point is, which is behind you. It's the center of that front axle. So you have to put your nose out a little bit further than you're comfortable with initially. And then once you're out in the road, you wanna make sure you hug the left side of the lane that you're traveling in. Everything bad happens to the right. If I heard that once, I heard it like a thousand times. Um, but really just take your time. That's the biggest thing I tell customers, take your time not in a hurry you're bigger than everyone else so take your time enjoy the ride now i'm getting ready here so when i turn on my blinker you'll be able to see this is our nice 360 view this is my rear camera view and i can change that just by tapping the screen i can go to the full 360 if i like which i actually really like so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out and you can see how well i stay in my lane <laughs> So you can see, no big deal. If you do feel like you're going to clip the curb, then take your time, slow down, adjust. These adjust really well, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, you can also maximize your full screen if you want to go, just tap your screen, go to full screen here, and watch what happens. Look at that. Now everyone in the back can backseat drive with me, <laughs> and they can see if I'm hugging the left side of the lane. Um, I love that view. I can also put that view on the screen right in front of me. So right now I've got my miles per hour up, but I can just go to screen view, click. I've got my map, or I can go to my 360 bird's eye view. And I really like that. It just lets me know where I am in the lane at all times. I also use my mirrors constantly. Um, I know right where I need to stay to stay on that hugging out left side of the lane that I'm traveling in. So really is, they're so fun to drive. Um, if you haven't driven, then what are you waiting for? You need to come to National Indoor RV Centers and meet with one of our RV lifestyle specialists. We'll figure out what you're really looking for, find the coach that meets your needs, and then let's take it for a test drive. So I mentioned in the dash information that there's easy stairs. So let me just show you how you would get to that while you're driving if you needed to. You just hit the home button and then scroll down. I can check my tire pressure. There's my easy stair. Now remember I said I like to have it at max. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into it and just raise that green bar all the way to the top and then click and I've set that. So I can do that easily. Hands are still on the steering wheel the whole time. Eyes are ahead and I can always see that 360 view. So super easy to do. All right, so once I start driving, I really enjoy the trip more once I get up to speed. So I'm gonna set my cruise control, turn it on, set it at 55. Now I take my foot off the accelerator and just hit the road, sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. So I always do the decibel reader, 62.1, so nice and quiet in the anthem. All right, something kind of fun that I've just started. Um, you know, I've got this brand new coach that I want you to come and purchase from National Indoor RV Centers. Well, I'm signing all the coaches that I do a video in. So if you happen to find the signature while you're shopping for your new coach, uh, you get an extra thousand dollars off. Just send me a picture and email it to Angie at nirbc.com. Tell your RV lifestyle specialist and you get a little bonus from me. So one of the things that we like to do at National Indoor RV Centers is get to know our customers. We want customers for life, so we actually like to hang out with y'all. Um, we have a club called the All Inclusive Motorhome Club, aimclub.org if you wanna go check it out. When you purchase a coach from us, actually, you can purchase this coach from us, you get a full year membership dues paid. Um, we have amazing rallies that we have all over the country. We try to give you some unique experiences that you may not do on your own, even if you were traveling the country. And we give you an opportunity to meet some of our other customers, meet new friends. Um, Always at the end of the rally, we have couples that are meeting up in different parts of the countries during their travels because they have so much fun. It's sort of like a cruise in your coach. Um, we cover all the food, the resort, drinks, private entertainment, exclusive events just for our group. Um, and we keep them fairly small just so that we can, you know, get to know everyone and uh, have a chance to really enjoy each other's company. So, Again, another perk of purchasing with 
National Indoor RV Centers, our AIM Club, storage, paint and body, service, you name it. We do it all and we try to make it really easy and keep you enjoying the lifestyle longer and safely. All right, so I'm just about ready to turn around. Hopefully I'll be able to show you how the blind spot monitor works here. All right, now you can see as I'm driving here, you can see that there's something that near the front of the coach, that red bar will move as a car goes by me or as I, if, the, uh, if something's in my blind spot, it follows the coach. So that's really, really cool and very helpful to the driver. So after you come and purchase a coach from me at National Indoor RV Centers, you're gonna be on the road, enjoying the beautiful sight, but you might have, you know, you might need something to listen to. A really good podcast, possibly. You gotta go check out RVU, an insider podcast where I interview industry experts, icons, and influencers. Go and check out an episode right now. I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of the 2024 Integra Anthem 44D. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. Well, MSRP is $746,820. If you want to find out how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers or go to nirvc.com. We have RV lifestyle specialists that are ready and waiting to help you. We want the buying process to be fun and pleasurable and exciting because this is such an exciting lifestyle that you're entering into. Also know that we take trades, we do consignments, Again, trying to make it as easy as possible. You can finance this for 20 years. So what are you waiting for? And just remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, help me out. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my ceramic coat video, my RVing 101 and retro band. Every coat should have it. Thanks so much for watching this today and have a wonderful day.